In this video, we are going to deploy our SafeMoon fork to the Binance Smart Chain network. So first, I created a new address on Binance Smart Chain and I sent some BNB token in it because in a Binance Smart Chain blockchain, we need some BNB token to pay for transaction fees. The total cost of deployment for the SafeMoon token was about 0.026 BNB token, which was $8.54 at the time of recording this video. So you don't need too much BNB to deploy your token. To do the deployment, you will need to open truffleconfig.js and in the private keys array, you will need to put your private key inside and you need to prefix it with 0x. And if we scroll down in Truffle Config, we use this array of private keys. So the mainnet of Binance Smart Chain is the BSC network. And I've set a gas price of 5 GUE, which is currently enough for Binance Smart Chain. So after you save this file and we go back to the terminal at the root of the project and we are going to launch this command and we press enter, it's going to start the deployment. So first it's going to deploy migrations.sol, which is a smart contract used internally by the Truffle framework. We can ignore that. And after it's going to deploy our SafeMoon token. And at the end, we have the total cost of deployment. So we see if that's because Truffle was initially created for Ethereum, but we can also use it for Binance Smart Chain. So every time you see if you mentally replace by BNB, the deployment cost you see is actually a deployment cost in BNB tokens. And just above, we can see the deployment detail for our SafeMoon token, including the transaction hash and the address of our token. So we copy this. Then we'll go to BSC Scan, which is the blockchain explorer for the Binance Smart Chain. We paste the address of our token and we see that BSC Scan has already indexed our token. So that's the proof that our token was actually deployed. And if we check the contracts tab, we see the raw bytecode of our smart contract. And that's because we haven't verified our contract yet. We'll do this in the next video, but we can already see that BSC Scan was able to read some parameter of our token, like the name and the ticker. So our deployment worked, yes.